Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me. So I hope you're keeping well. I hope everything's going okay. Today, I thought we'd create this lovely little clean and simple design, but we're going to be using a technique that's new to me. Now, it might not be new to you, I don't know. I've only just discovered it, but you know what it's like in crafting. These things tend to go in cycles. And for me, we're going to be painting with our liquid pearls. And as I say, it's just not something I've done before. And I've certainly not done a video on it. So I thought I'd share it with you. I was so chuffed when I found this technique. So what we'll do, we'll start off with, and I've got a piece of multifarious card here. And this is three and a half inches by seven and a half. And I'm going to stamp just in my copy of paper. And I've just popped my black Sharpie line round before we started. And I've got this lovely Chinese lantern stamp. Absolutely beautiful. Now again, especially for something clean and simple, choose your stamps wisely and use the acetate. And I'm thinking there, and then I've got nice space for my sentiment here. The acetate is so useful for that. And I'm going to stamp in black but I'm going to use a clear embossing powder just because for me personally, I feel it almost gives me um, a raised edge, a, a, a gutter. So when I'm painting, it's a bit easier. And you know me, I like anything for an easy life. But also on the finished card, if I can show you, it just adds to that sort of shine. We've got the shine from the liquid pearls, but also the glossiness on the black, which must admit I do like. But this works well if you're using brush holes. Um, I like to use the clear embossing powder as well. Like I say, it, it's a very good um, tool to have in your arsenal, this. So we're going to stamp in the black, the Nocturne. So again, nice light. Don't pressure ink pad too much. Just lots of nice light taps or tapping. You'll be asking me, is it hot or a cold tap if I say taps, won't you? So we're just going to come in and I think I'll sort of maybe angle it slightly for this one. There we go. And again, remember when you're stamping, never take both hands off at the same time and just give that ink time to soak in to the card. Now, if I was good, I would have taken the lid off my embossing powder. But do you know what? We can do it. I think it's amazing how much you can do with one hand when you get used to holding. <laughs> when I'm stamping, when I'm demonstrating at this bit, I normally drink my coffee with this hand. It gives me a chance to have a quick sip. And we'll just lift that straight up and then on with the clear embossing powder. And I'm just going to... Put, there we go give it a good coverage and then tap it just gently tap it don't want to tap it too much and we're going to put this back in here because if I put it on one side and do it later you know what will happen I'll end up knocking it off or Eric will nudge it and we'll have embossing powder everywhere and I'm very precious when I've bought these products, I don't like to, to knock them over. So if you just bear with me, I'm just going to heat this. So I've got my embossing heat tool and I'm going to put it on full. So do bear with me with the noise. Heat it up first. Always check that it's nice and warm. So I'll give it just a couple of seconds. Check it's nice and hot. And then we'll just heat this, and I'm hoping you might be able to see it on camera. Just turning lovely and shiny black as we heat it, look. And slowly work your way round the design. No wafting, just a nice methodical working your way around. And that way, Knock that off. That way, look, we've got the whole thing. And how beautiful is that? Do you know, I must admit, I'd be quite tempted, if you needed to batch card make, 
you could make a series of note clips with this and you could even keep it monochromatic i think when i stamp the sentiment i think you could get away with that's all you would need on there i think adding that clear embossing powder really does make it just pop i mean maybe some different florals would look lovely and, and this perfect for a, a dl card very very classy so i'll stamp my sentiment and this is just from the Heartfelt Verses um, Sentiments set. And I'm just going to put the, the birthday wishes. Now, again, I could go for the middle. I could go for this side. I think I might actually just offset it and put it this side on this one. Straight down, straight up. There we go. And I'm going to give that a bit of a blot. Again, just so I don't smudge it. Now I can get rid of my copy of paper. Now I found for my liquid pearls, I'm just going to use one of my acrylic blocks. I could put it on my mat, but I've just found it that bit easier if I just put it on here. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of the liquid pearls, pop it on the acrylic block and I've got my water pot with my brush in and this is my favoured one it's the number one and I'm just going to add again because the water based we can add water and depending how much water and I know this is obvious but sometimes we forget the obvious depending how much water depends how pale it will be obviously if I add more water it will be paler so what I tend to do is have an area where there's more water and then a more concentrated. So if I want deeper colour, I can go into that. And all I'm going to do, again, my kitchen towel just to lean on. And I'm just going to very simply paint. And this is a lovely thing to do. You know, and it's so relaxing. And the thing is, you've got your, almost like your built-in sparkle. And if you want a little bit more water look, you can just add a little bit. I like to have, because flowers, when you look in nature, they're not um, the same consistency, the same colour all the way through. So I like to just vary the amount of water I have. So some are slightly paler. I'm just going to turn it round a little. Again, making sure I lean on my kitchen towel. Now we've got so many lovely stamps that this would work well with. I must admit, when I went to my collection of stamps, I picked up the Lilium straight away and I thought, oh, this will be ideal. But I suddenly realised I've done a few videos recently with the Lilium stamp and I thought, right, look for a different one. And there were so many, the seed heads, I thought, oh, that'll be lovely, the zen grass. And I thought, no, nope, come on, keep looking. So have a look. And it's a good way to look at your stamps to see what you've got. Because do you know what? I'm sure you're going to be like me and they're going to be stamps that you've forgotten about. All right, let's have a look at this one. Maybe a bit more concentrated here. little bit on there and again I'm just keep rolling my brush just to keep that beautiful fine point and if I want to come in with any darker look I can just go over and darken little areas but I like that or oh, just a little bit there I've missed so for those of you that are shouting Joe you've missed a bit thank you Now, for me, as you know, I like to add some splatters. Now, for those of you that want to leave it like this, really clean and simple, by all means, you leave it like that. But for me, I'm going to bring my fan brush in because it's in my water pot. Just collect a little bit and just add a few. Don't want to overcook it. Just around. Right, stop, walk away. Now, this... You just literally, I'm just going to move this out of the way so I don't splash it anymore. Spritz with water and then a quick mop up with your inky binky. But you could, if you wanted, put it on a piece of card for a background. 
I'm just going to mop it up and then bring this back in so you can see it. But how quick and easy was that? Now, the last little thing that I would do is just with my white Posca, again, give it a good shake on these areas. When it's dry, I would just add a little bit of Posca to just add some little highlights. Obviously, mine's not quite dry, but I shall just add it anyway so you, you get the idea. And it's as simple as that. But, you know, I looked at my liquid pearls and I thought I've got such fabulous colours. When I looked, I've got so many. I mean, look, I mean, the one we use today is copper pearl. But there are so many brilliant colours. And I'm thinking of all the projects I could do where I could watercolour paint with them or add it as a touch of sparkle to my work. So I'll bring in the finished one. There we go. And obviously this one, I've just added a bow. And this is the one we've just done. So I hope you like that idea. If you're like me and you've not done it before, maybe have a go. I mean, don't forget, you can do your dots. You could add a few little dots with your liquid pearls if you wanted. I mean, for instance, look here, if I wanted, I'm just going to check it's working okay. I could, on the eye of the birthday... We could have and on the eye of the wishes we could add a little dot there we go again i just can't stop playing sorry we'll mop that up so you can even add some of your little dots if you want so i hope you enjoyed that maybe look at your stamps up use it with different stamps use different colors but please do share on social media and do tag me in because i love to see what you do so thanks for joining me today we're quite quick today, weren't we? I'm going to go off, put that kettle on and then take Eric out for his walk. Lots of snow and frost here today in Cheshire, so it's mighty cold. Definitely need a warm brew. You take care, everybody. Have fun. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.